Yeah, it's wonderful. There are a few things I'm just going to point out. This melody that we're talking about, the concept of it is super simple. It's a set of suspensions, you know? Sometimes I feel you bring out a little bit too slowly. You know, sometimes, yes, you can do that, but don't make it a habit that becomes, yeah. you're always gonna do it that way. You know, sometimes it can be very straightforward. So you need to have variation paste those four notes there. You know, the rubato is not always gonna be done in exactly the same way. I thought the first couple times was wonderful. To me, you lose one chance to make a long line um, in, in the second time this happens here. So now we're coming back to the theme here. Now he writes crescendo. I think you need to start really save that first bar. Don't give away any sort of idea that there's something's going to happen. And it almost comes quieter. I think you need a different color there. It's a little bit more forlorn or desperate here. take time there but don't completely lose the yeah. sense of continuing there so you know think about you know you're con you're also conducting the whole the whole thing here the pacing that it still continues not and then everybody has to stop yeah. in their tracks it's yeah. also useful for us as the violin soloist to think about of course you know you'll play with orchestra you'll have a conductor Hopefully, hopefully following you very well and showing the orchestra what to do. But you can also make that job really straightforward for them and for the orchestra by, you know, pacing your slowdowns or your speed ups in a way that really makes sense to everybody. So if you play. Then people are going to be sort of a little bit on edge. Same thing in a place like right, the, right where you ended here. If you play it completely freely, everybody's sort of guessing what that tempo is going to be at the end. So I, I think, you know, you're on your own for the beginning of this. So you can play that freely, but use the last two beats of that last bar there to set up your tempo. And then everybody knows exactly what to do. You know, at least that four fourth beat, that that's really setting everybody up for the tempo you want. And then nothing can go wrong. So that's something, you know, I think a little bit about when I'm playing with, with an orchestra, this piece is how do I make those transitions super, super confident and clear so that basically nothing can go wrong. Otherwise, you know, it could work out well, but you're taking that little chance. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, this video was made possible thanks to Tonic, the music platform where you can share intimate moments of artistry within a welcoming community. So if you'd like to know what it feels like to practice and feel supported, driven, motivated, and confident, be sure to click on the link in our description below to download our app called Tonic. In there, you'll meet loads of people who are also practicing and learning, where you can participate in fun challenges and events together. Struggling through a piece you're currently working on? No problem, ask someone for their fingerings in the musical exchange group. Learn more about composers and best warm-up practices through our studio classes. There's so many things to discover on the platform, no matter if you're the one practicing or in the audience. Tonic is your home between practice and performance.